questions uh, concerning speed. One is the speed of the procedure, one is the speed of the recovery, obviously. So when it comes to the speed of the procedure, obviously we are not performing the surgery just to rush through it. What we want first at hand is precision, otherwise speed is worth nothing. So we need to be hyper precise with that surgery in order to get the functional perfection that we want to have at the end. But when it comes to speed now, really during the surgery, and let's assume that the precision is at an ultra high level, then you have to speed things up. And the reasons are quite obvious. So it brings down first at hand the infection rates. Because if the surgery is not messed up with unnecessary things and you don't hassle around during it and you, let's say, protect and respect uh, the anatomy of the patient by just spreading the muscles instead of dissecting or releasing them too far, well, then obviously you have less bleeding, therefore you have a secondary infection risk that drops down because these uh, hematomas that you create when you have massive exposures, they tend to secondarily infect. So we know that this is a major risk and source of infection. The next thing is the less swelling the patient has, the quicker the recovery goes, the fewer pain you have. And it's a difference whether you are intubated, laying on a side uh, during the surgery for half an hour or for an hour, or even two hours or longer. So the quicker you are at high precision, the better it is for the outcome. So that's one thing, the speed of uh, the surgery.